everyone! Today I'm making delicious chocolate chip cookies that are really easy to make. One hundred grams of butter, one hundred grams of white sugar, fifty grams of light brown sugar, one large egg, two hundred and fifty grams of plain flour, half a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda, two hundred and fifty grams of chocolate chips. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is preheat the oven to one hundred and seventy-five degrees. Next, I need to get my softened butter and mix it with the two sugars, the caster sugar and the light brown sugar in the bowl. I'm going to mix them together, beat them with the electric whisk until they are pale and fluffy. Okay, so here we have our mixture. It's light and fluffy. The next thing I need to do is add in my egg. So I'm just going to crack the egg into that and give it another mix. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is I've got my flour here and I'm going to add half a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda or baking soda. Now, I need to sieve both of these into the mixture. So my chocolate chips here, I have a couple of white chocolate chunks, milk, dark, you put in whatever you like to use. Okay, so the cookie dough is ready and you can add more chocolate chips or less or you could add nuts or you could add raisins or cranberries, any kind of dried fruit, whatever you like. I've done the three different kind of chocolate chips. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is pop them onto a baking tray. So I have two baking trays that I've put already lined with parchment and um, it'll probably need more than that so what I'll do is I'll put two trays into the oven for 13 to 15 minutes and then take them out and I might need to put in um, a second batch. In the meantime, taste the cookie dough. It's absolutely delicious, just as it is. Okay, so you get a little bit of dough, roll it up into a ball, pop it on, and flatten it down a little bit and do the same and keep them about two inches apart on the tray. Another thing that I like to do sometimes is put something inside my cookie. For example, Nutella, I'm a big fan of Nutella. So what I do is, I just flatten the cookie dough here on my hand like that. I get a little teaspoon of Nutella and I pop it into the middle there. That, and I fold it over so that bakes in the oven and the gooey Nutella when you bite into the cookie it'll be lovely and gooey so I'm going to do one tray of Nutella cookies okay so there there's my first 12 cookies made Six with Nutella, six without Nutella. Loads of cookie dough mix left for the next round. So I'm gonna pop those into the oven for 13 to 15 minutes. I'll keep an eye on it. Alexa will help me keep an eye on it. Okay guys, so it's been about 14 minutes. So I'm gonna take the cookies out of the oven and see if they're ready. Okay, this is my first tray, the ones with the Nutella, yeah. They're done, they're still a little bit pale, but once they start to brown around the edge, that means they're definitely done. These ones are still a little bit paler, so I'm gonna move them to the top shelf for another minute.
Okay, so both trays are there. I'm gonna leave the cookies to cool down before I move them to a wire rack. And then I have more dough ready to go on the next load of trays. Okay, so ready for the taste test. I get to taste two cookies for this one. Uh, this one stuffed in Nutella, and this one the ordinary plain one. So I'll go with this one first. So you can see the chocolate chips have melted, lovely and gooey. Mm. So crispy on the outside, chewy on the inside. They're really good. And now for the Nutella one. Mm. There's a layer of chocolate, extra chocolate in this one. Mm. And it's so good. I love Nutella flavor. So give them a go this week. Try them out. If you want to put Nutella in them or something else, or if not, just make them plain. They're delicious. Enjoy.